even though LA is now the largest urban county in the United States with more than 10 million residents, our roots are agricultural roots. We are a farming community dating back a long time. Food production is important here. Well, I think one of the reasons why uh, farming became so successful in Los Angeles in places like Compton was because um, there was a market here to begin with. As the population grew of the city of Los Angeles, you had a built-in built marketplace. So small farming communities close to Los Angeles, like Compton, could easily um, get their stuff to market in LA and sell it at a reasonably good price. So that's one of the reasons why uh, farming was so successful here and it ultimately led to the demise of farming here because as the population grew and grew and grew it pushed out the farming communities. Some of the people who came to LA to become farmers were probably um, middle class or fairly well-to-do people from back east or the Midwest who wanted to become farmers and they had heard you could make money at farming out here. So um, a lot of people like that came. Um, also a lot of people came um, for labor. Um, a lot of people from Mexico came to uh, help with construction of railroads and a lot of people came to um, to construct all kinds of things in Los Angeles and then ended up working in the farming community. Starting in around the 1870s, um, transportation of farm products to other markets became more and more feasible due to the transcontinental railroads and then refrigerated rail cars. So by the 1880s, 1890s, things like um, Iceberg lettuce, for example, could be shipped to markets far away. So I haven't heard that story about Richland Farms being the source of food that uh, went to the White House, but it's entirely possible. Uh, I'm sure that many products were grown in Compton and surrounding locations that ended up on the East Coast on people's dinner plates, so why not from Richland Farms? Definitely, um, if you look back at the history of agriculture in Los Angeles County, you do see a lot of racial tension uh, that arose at different points. I mean, the, uh, California agriculture is predicated on cheap labor, so it was brought in from all kinds of different places, from Mexico, from China, from the Philippines, from Japan, and people weren't always treated very well, and you see plenty of that kind of history in Los Angeles County. Um, you don't always um, see what you expect. You know, for example, um, a lot of managers of small farms uh, in the first part of the 20th century were Japanese. Um, however, you know, they were pushed out and oftentimes their farms were taken from them when they were forcibly sent to internment camps and they didn't necessarily ever, uh, you know, regain their farming properties. So there's, uh, the history of agriculture in Los Angeles is intimately bound with our history as a city and as a county, including all the issues of race and division that come with that.